Hey guys, Brian K Man here, and um, today I'm uh, I'm doing another uh, tutorial on how to make a server. But this uh, video is gonna uh, teach you how to make a forge server, and uh, that means it's a server with mods in them. Now, the first thing you're gonna want to do, the same thing as last time in my uh, first video on how to make a server, is to uh, make your server folder. So I'm just gonna call it Forge server 1.7.10 so i'm gonna make a, a 1.7.10 forge server and then all these links will be down in the uh, description below and the first thing you're gonna want to do is go onto uh, files.minecraftforge.net and then if you want to make a 1.7.10 server uh click on the uh, installer right here I'm, I'm gonna do the recommended version just because uh, it's recommended. So you're going to want to click this installer and it'll send you to this add fly link and you're just going to have to wait and I don't really like add fly because for no apparent reason because I'm just that kind of guy and you just got to wait for five seconds and after that you just click 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 Click, click, skip ad, and uh, your server folder, server folder, the installer will start downloading, and, dang it, no, stop, stop it, there, okay, and uh, after you get that, you're going to want to go to your downloads and uh, take it out, and just simply double click it, open, and, you know, give it some time, give it some time. Oh yeah, and this uh, tutorial is, uh, I think it's only for Macs, so, yeah, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, let's just flip and open up, please. <sighs> Finally. Okay, uh, now, uh, if you, uh, if you don't already have Forge, like, uh, for client, then, uh, you're gonna want to do that. Just simply, just click OK, and then just run Minecraft, and, uh, you should already have, uh, Minecraft Forge installed if you're watching this video. So, uh, if uh, to install it on the server, you're just gonna want to click install server, and then click these three dots right here, and you're gonna want to go to your desktop and go to your server folder and click choose, and click OK. And it's. Right now, it's just downloading all the files you're going to need for your server. And this tutorial is Mac-based. Eh. Yeah. And I pro yeah, I said that already. Oh my... I'm stupid. I'm sorry. It's palm face right now. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to uh, teach, teach you guys how to port forward. And to port forward means um, that uh, your friends can join your servers and stuff. So yeah, I, I already uh, showed you how to do, how to port forward in my first server tutorial, but that was when, uh, you know, I was bad at explaining stuff, although I'm still blad, bad, bad, <sighs> whatever. Okay, so it's done uh, downloading. Now if you open up your server folder, it's got uh, these uh, three files, and now that uh, you can just put that to the side for now and then the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to the same wiki page as uh, uh, we did in the first tutorial I'm, I'm gonna have the uh, link in the description as well and uh, it's it, you're just it's gonna start right here and uh, if you have a Mac you're gonna want to go to Mac iOS uh, X instructions and just copy this not that this there you go and copy it Edit, copy, or just Command C, and uh, I'm just gonna hide that. And now just uh, Command Space and just search up text edit. Now uh, you're gonna want the format plain. And sorry, that's my dog in the background. Yeah, dog. Okay, and then uh, after you uh, change the format to plain, just paste it in. And what you're going to want to do is go back to your server folder and uh, rename, not that one, not this one, this one. 
You can name it whatever you want. I'll just call it uh, Forge MC. Whatever. And uh, this Minecraft uh, underscore server dot jar. You're gonna want, just want to change Minecraft underscore uh, server to whatever you renamed that dot jar. And this is where you can uh, give it more RAM. So like uh, your server will uh, run better and stuff. But uh, since this is just a tutorial, I'm just gonna have it for one gig. So uh, next, you're just gonna want to do Command S, and you're gonna save it, and just call it Start dot Command. Just save it to your desk. 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 Da, 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 da. Desk. Da. <sighs> desk. Top. Yes. Now you can close that, and just drag the Start dot Command into your server folder. Now. Uh, as you can see, if you just uh, try to run it and just open, it'll say that you don't have uh, privileges. So to get those privileges, you're going to have to open up Terminal. And then let the thing load. There we go. And the thing, uh, what you're going to want to do is chmod a plus x space. Can't forget that last space. Just drag that start dot command right, right in here, and then just right after that, enter. Now you got the permission. P -permer <laughs> I can't speak, pronounce stuff. Now just double click start that command again, and it will start up your server. Just let it load. Just let it load. Yeah, as I said in the first tutorial, it's this. It's gonna take uh, longer to um, load up because it's the first time loading up all the things you're gonna need for the server. So it's not gonna take this long. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So this, uh, I always get confused at this part. So you think that your server is like it's been pooped on, but no. You're gonna want to go to this eula.txt. Just open it up, and uh, where, uh, where it says EULI equals false, change that to true. Command S, save it, close, and you can close terminal again, and then just start up the server. Let's just wait for all this stuff to load and do its thing. Now, I'm probably going to take a cut until all of this is done loading and I'm also going to get my mod I'm going to use for this server so I will be right back when this server is done uh, doing its thing okay welcome back guys and uh, as you can see uh, in the in terminal it says done and that means the server is done loading and uh, the mod I'm going to use to demonstrate uh, the server is a uh, pixelmon so all you need to do is find the mods folder in your server folder and just drag it in. I actually, okay, rewind, rewind, rewind. What you're going to want to do, type in stop in terminal. Once it says process completed, just close terminal. And then you put in the pixel mod or whatever mod you're going to want to, you want to uh, use. Now, just double click start that command. And it will load up the server. Now while it's loading up, let's open up Minecraft. And I'm going to prove that this works. So just let it do its tingy. Let the server do its thing. Minecraft do its thing. Yeah, whatever. I'll, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right back after all this stuff loads. Okay, welcome back guys. The uh, Minecraft and the server is done loading up. And to uh, get your server, uh, to put, uh, blah, blah. your server IP is just uh, simply local host. And I'm just going to call it forge, whatever, my forge server, whatever. And as you can see down here, it is up and running. I've got the right mods installed and there we go
As you can see, in Terminal, it says Brand Cayman has joined. And sound. Yep. Okay, so let's just wait for this stuff to load. And while it's doing that, I'm going to show you what you're going to need to uh, port forward your server. So, what you're going to want to do is open up your web browser, right? And that thing just crashed, I know. <laughs> I'm failing so hard. Type in port map. And then you're going to want to click this, codingmonkeys.de, the very first one. And then once you're here, just scroll down and click to uh, click the screenshot to download the application, or you can just click this. And after you click that, it'll start downloading, and you will get a port map. Now, this thing is being stupid. So, uh, port map is going to look like this. When you open up, it's just going to have an anchor and a little scroll thing. Now I'm going to uh, blur out, or uh, uh, yeah, blur out the set of numbers because that's my IP, and I don't want people joining my server. And yes, I'm just going to turn that off for now. And uh, to create your uh, port, uh, to uh, port forward, just just going to want to click this plus. And the local port is two five five six five. Like that. And description can be anything. Forge server, why not? And just add mapping. And now, uh, you gotta wait until the, the light is green. And that means it's ready to go. And that means that people can join your server. Now, uh, if you wanna play with friends like and stuff like that, you're gonna want to give your friends the uh, number on top of a uh, port map and then they will be able to uh, play on your server. Now, uh, you're going to have to have both uh, terminal and port... F Stupid full screen. You're going to have to have both uh, the server, of course, terminal, uh, running, and port map at the same time for your friends to play. But uh, it's that simple. Let's see if I can join the server again. If I crash, I'm going to cry. And you're just gonna have to take my word that it it works, because it because it works. Why the sounds? Y you know it's probably gonna crash again. I'm I'm probably using the wrong Forge version. Dang it! Well, this is very unprofessional, but that is okay because I am a nub. So that is pretty much how to uh, make a Forge server, simple as that. And uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like or sub and um, not or remember to subscribe as well for more Minecraft videos. And if you have a suggestion for my next uh, video, leave a comment down below. And uh, see you later.